All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm going to be discussing and Super Snails Games uh, relic section. The relic section is can, is found here. These relics are leveled up by your reagents that are up here, green. By they go by tier: green, blue, purple, orange, just like the relics do. So the orange ones are at the top, and the green ones are at the bottom, just like these work right here. Um, if I could find something real quick. So right here, we're in the sieve section of the relics. And if we look at this, this one specifically, because I don't have any points in it. Uh, there's a reason why I'm doing this specifically. Uh, it's not because this one's really good or anything like that. It's just literally just to show you how this works. So if I were to upgrade this one right here, it says sieve and it's pointing towards sieve. And it's in the sieve section. That means that any points that I put into this um, when I max it out or when I fill up one of these vials right here with a uh, reagent, what happens is that it's going to affect all of your attributes, your fame, your art, your fifth, your sieve, your tech, but it's going to give extra points towards your sieve. Okay. And that, I don't know if it's sieve or if it's C4, because that could be like uh, the Roman numeral four and it could just be like a cheeky way of like hiding. This game's got Easter eggs everywhere. Um, but if I wanted to go ahead and like level up a tech, a tech tree, uh, relic, it could, it would normally affect these more. So you see how I've actually put like 30 points. So this already affected 30 points, 43 points, 47 points, 40 points, and 72 points of these respective, uh, effects. And when I say effects, I mean the actual like art, fame, fifth, civ, and tech. That actually is like the acronym effect, okay, in this game. So if you ever fight somebody, for example, right here, and let me click this real quick, and it and his weakness is effect only. If, if it said AFFCT and it was in red, that means you can't basically beat that guy because you don't have the power to hit his weakness. Uh, when you whenever you whenever you find a weakness, you you do a lot of damage. You do extra damage to to your opponent. I mean, but that's not what we're going to discuss here. All I'm saying is the effect matters in those levels and those types of um, in, uh, scenarios where you need to use effect. Okay, so this whenever you level up a uh, a relic, you're 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 buffing all of your effects. But you're gonna if you're in a if you're in a tech tree or the sieve tree, that's that's the, the important takeaway is that they will get extra bonuses. So if I go here back to where I was before and I look at this guy right here, and I upgrade him and I put some uh, blue reagent, and I click this guy, not quick, not quick upgrade. You're not gonna see this in, under quick upgrade, but you will see it right now, and then you'll understand why why the, how it works, right? So what happens is. You see this little red, uh, not red, sorry, this little yellow line right here, this little yellow highlight. If I put, if I do these individually, two points are going to go into the fame section. And then, uh, let's see, are we in fame right now? We're not in fame. We're in, uh, we're in sieve. So if we're in sieve, that means that the sieve should technically get three points while everything else gets two points. Because again, it favors that, uh, that, that part of the effect, um, because it, that's this this uh, relic belongs in that section. It it, it just gets automatic buffs. So, so we're gonna go ahead and put five points. You see one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna automatically take five points, and then it's gonna go to the next vial. And it's and it's gonna unlock the next vial, and it's gonna repeat the same process three times until you have enough to get it over the hump. And over the hump, I'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna if I have enough, because I right now I don't have enough actually. So I won't be able to do it with this one. But we're gonna we're gonna still show you this. So it goes into yellow. So if I hit one time, I, it, this went up five out of out, out of uh, one out of five. So right now this went up to art plus two, tech plus two. Uh, if randomly hit fifth again, and it hits civ for three. So there you go. It bone it, it it gave the bonus effect to civ, and for some reason it skipped it skipped over tech. Uh, so I guess it doesn't care about that one. So I, I'm I, I just wanted to show you guys that because that's that's like that's really important to note that if once once you unlock this quick um, upgrade section, you're you're, you're going to be like wow, that, like it, it happens really fast. You don't see it, um, but 
every time you upgrade a relic that that's how important upgrading relics are is that they, they they affect your overall effect and your effect is important because certain um triggers happen where if you're if you're gonna fight somebody and there it'll say i don't know if this is gonna be one of them it's probably not this is probably gonna be under uh, uh under what oh this is already done <laughs> See if I can find a guy here that I could fight. That I could just show you guys. So right now this says fame, right? Again, if this said effect, I would need to bring my effect to this current level, and this is where my current fame level is. So in order for me to bounce this guy, to hit this guy harder, I would need my fame to increase. Otherwise, I'm just hitting him head to head. Whereas if I if this was blue and I found his weakness, I would it would be like I hit him once, he hits me once. And then I hit him again per round. So one round I hit him twice. And my rush is basically the attack that's coming in afterwards. So it's like regular attack, regular attack. And then I hit him with the rush. So I basically hit him twice for him hitting me once. That's really big. That's really big. So finding the weakness is very imperative to like defeating enemies uh, successfully. And some enemies require you to beat them outright within two to three rounds. So if you don't have their weakness, it's not going to happen. You need to find their weakness. So if you up, upgrade the effects of all the... Um, if these uh, relics upgrade your effect, and what you need is to increase your effects, your fame and stuff like that. Well, let's just say you really wanted to upgrade something that was not in the fame section. You're still technically upgrading your fame section because everything is getting a little taste. You know what I mean? Um, that one example actually uh, skipped over tech or, or art or whatever it was. I think it was tech. But they, for the most part, they, they splash into all the other um, sections of the effect and it, and it helps. Okay. So the reagents here are what you use to level up your, your, your relics. And now let's go ahead and talk about priority. So the priority of, my, uh, of, of the way I upgrade these relics is... I like to upgrade the economic side, the economic side of the, the, the base first. Because when I first started playing this game, I just put points into everything. I just said, screw it. As soon as I get it, I unlock it. I pay for it. Because it just because you got the relic doesn't mean you're getting the effect of the relic. If I had a brand new relic, I could show you right now that it, it will not go. It will not give you the effect unless you pay the entry fee to activate it. If you can't activate it, if you don't, if you don't activate it, it just sits there wasting time. And usually the game will put it right up in, in the top, even though it's not. If if it's a brand new green one, it'll put it up in the top to, to let you know, hey, you need to activate this, and then it sends it all the way back to the bottom when you're done. And you're like, oh, where did it go? It's all the way at the bottom, where it needs to be because it's in, it's it's a green. But you won't get its effect if you don't pay. So let's pay for it, activate it, and then let's start putting some points into it. Another thing about that. Um, before the priority section, um, if you upgrade it, right, you're gonna. Some of these have stamps, and these stamps are gonna be gray. Let's see if I can find one that's. No, that's definitely not. <laughs> I need something that's like pretty low. Okay, so these guys are gray, right? Let's see what they do. Uh, travel speed output one percent. That's really good because your 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 main character is a snail. So your snail being so slow, if you can increase the travel output, that makes this really important. Um, and then the max cap, max cap of the time machine is not that important. Um, it is important if you are a, uh, if you only like log in once. You want to make sure your cap to increase how much you can contain during a day because it's an idle game. Um, basically, it helps you get a little extra more uh, resources that that it'll build up in. Let, let, it's, like, it's like a wallet or like a bank. And if you if you go into the bank and you tap it three times a day, you're never going to hit the max cap. But if you only go in once a day or maybe twice a day, you might hit the max cap, depending on how, what your level is and how fast your things uh, upgrade. So your production goes, right? So if your production is really high and your max and your cap is actually, you know, about the same, then, you know, in a, in a few hours, it'll fill up and then you won't. And, and then you're going to need these buffs. If, I don't I don't have that issue. <laughs> okay, so I don't have that issue because I log in quite a bit. Um, so this guy right here, the travel output, again, it helps you go, go fast. The time machine max cap gives you 7% uh, time machine cap. Again, not important for me, but it could be important for people that are that play slow. Uh, not play slow, but like, you know, chime in once a day. 
per three unisparks activations uh snail attack plus 10 this is a flat buff and i don't really prioritize the flat, flat buffs i i prioritize the uh the economic side of things so this is uh this is not an economic side of things but what you will find out is that it when you travel that's part of your economic your e uh your economy your economy goes up the more you can travel the more you can travel throughout the day the more the more times you can travel throughout the day the more money that comes in but these uh these right here will not be activated unless you hit uh i believe it's like so it's one two three i believe shoot where was the spark here not the spark the keyhole so if i upgrade this guy i have enough for 28 i have enough to upgrade this right here and i won't have enough for this because i need blues i need uh blue regents uh reagents excuse me and this one will get me this one will get me maybe the first stamp or maybe this one and then this will get me the second one or this these two right here these three right here are probably the, the ones that'll get me the three yeah that's that's how it works i think i'm pretty sure that's how it works so this is going to get me the first uh stamp if it's maxed out if it hits all the way up to the top this is going to get me the second stamp and this is going to get me the third stamp now notice that there's no third stamp here but a lot of these do have three stamps and these three stamps all of them give you certain buffs you have to click on them real quick and find out okay this one gives me travel speed up output. That's really good. Gives me 5% more travel speed um, for the time machine. So you can skip events or not skip events, but skip uh, traveling. So uh, instead of idling forever, you get 5% more idle, idle, you know, fast forwards. And what does this one does? This one just gives you flat relic stats. I don't really care about that. And this one's for a Yamato museum. And it just helps you drop two times the blue re reagent drops at 2.5%. Now these stack up and this is really good. So they stack up and they help you overall. <clears throat> if you have just one that's at 2.5, it doesn't matter. But if you have 10 of them at 2.5, now you have a 25% chance. You see what I'm saying? So just keep upgrading them and making them reach that level and you'll be good. You'll be good there. Okay, so... The priority, again, the priority for me is the uh, the basis econo economy, right? So let's look here. This is not really economy based, uh, but it is uh, exploration based. So it helps my it helps me do more damage in an exploration, which if I can do more damage and I can clear explorations better, um, it's going to help me become stronger and get more um, get more. It's going to help me get more, uh, what do you call it, uh, resources because I'm going to be beating up bad guys, right? So an exploration crit goes up 15%. This one's going to say crit damage is also going to go up 15%, which is really nice. And uh, an exploration fire damage is 150. This is this is the reason why this one's a triple S, the Unispark. It's also a triple S because you need it for your, for your dragon form, but that's not part of this video. I've already done a dragon video, so... Um, yeah, you guys can take a look at that. <laughs> uh, it gives you flat 90, flat 90 attack at this at li this level. So if I got this to the sixth level, I'm, we can see right here, it'll go up to 120. I just press this little uh, eyeglass up on the top. It'll tell you what the, what the relic looks like when it's maxed out. And it gives you an awakening uh, bonus of 250. So this is a really awesome triple S. Um, as far as like top tier triple S's and like even single less ones, um, I, I, I love these two. <laughs> I love these two. And this one's funny because this one's just a single S. And this one is just another single S. But look at what they're doing. They're, they're uh, the tadpole pawn upgrade B tab cost is negative 10%. So it's 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 helping your economy because it's making your upgrades cost 10% less. I mean, that's basically like every, every time I go to buy a tire for my car, it costs 10% less. And the cost of those tires in the game keep increasing. So, for example, if you buy, it, it's like every time you, you upgrade your pawn, it, it's going to always go up to like maybe 25% more, right? But minus 10% of that 25, of that 25%. So you're, it's always going up. It doesn't stay flat. It's not like uh, minus 100 because then that would suck. <laughs> that would really suck. 10% is really good. I'm not even going to look at the stamps because I don't really care about the stamps when I look at when I'm seeing what this is bringing. I'll look at it real quick. It's, it's a, a Yamato Museum thing. I don't really care. It's got a stone output, which is really good because the quarry, if, if you have, if you put these in the quarry, you'll get 30% um, output. So actually, this, was, this one's doing a lot of heavy lifting and it gives you one for the lumber, 
which is doing some heavy lifting as well because you can put this one in the lumber or in the uh or in the what do you call it the quarry and you'll get 30 percent output that's huge now right next to it is the uh, king dangun statue this one's really good i this one's amazing because it says tab pull pond uh black tab output is at 14 percent it increases the output and it's a one it's a one star one s um what a relic act. I mean, just getting it this far was really good and it can go even higher. It can go up to 25%. It's basically giving you a uh, 14% right now. Quarry, uh, the pond and the lumber camp. It's giving uh, you more, more is coming to you, which is important. Remember it's the economy. If your economy is growing and it's being boosted, it's being passively increased. You are going to be able to purchase things faster, upgrade things faster. These are my priority. These are my priority. Things like this, things that help me with exploration, things that help me with, uh, you know, upgrading or getting reagents because reagents are kind of hard to get. So if you find, um, let's see if we can find something that, uh, see, this one's good. Cause it's this, this, I don't have enough of these, uh, these feathers. But the, the Phoenix Feather is really good because it helps my Dragon Form, which is the main form that everybody uses. It increases the travel speed. That's huge. Um, so that's part, that's, part, that's part of economy because if you can if you can roam faster, then you're going to do more damage. Um, this one's really good because it's also economy because it says the lottery green beads turn turn to blue by one percent. It's it's not an economy thing that's priority, but <clears throat> like right now we're currently on the Giga Ball uh event week so this one rotates every rotates out every two weeks next one's going to be wish and next one after that is going to be offering and then this giga ball comes back so every time you roll for that you get a percentage and there's other things that stack to that that give you a chance to turn these like really crappy balls and turn them into a higher tier so you can get a green one turn into blue remember a blue and, and then and they go all the way up to orange remember that's how it goes green uh green uh blue purple orange and then red but I, i've never seen a red giga ball but that's how those giga balls work and i haven't seen anything that says otherwise so i'm just gonna go with that's how it is i've seen the red ones actually i've seen the red ones when it's scripted when it gives you like a whole bunch of like the same stuff it might give you a whole bunch of tickets or a whole bunch of like gems or white tabs excuse me or um little scrolls to open so those are the red ones but they're they don't they don't shoot out they don't turn into like uh they don't regularly come out that's like, like a scripted kind of thing so this is another economic one right here economy one so it this says this is this is giving you a flat attack damage buff and this is giving you a, a flat uh, snail rush buff that's that's good but what's better is this <laughs> to me what's better is this because it it's saying when i explore i have a black tab black tab gains by plus 3.2 percent it doesn't it doesn't have to hit a mark or anything. I'm always going to get black tabs when I when I do exploration. And this is saying you're going to get plus 3% more, which is good. It's so it, so I would want to upgrade this one as soon as possible. The thing is, I'm, I'm missing 40 more to get to this because I need 120 to get to that. And I'm probably missing, yeah, 100 of these uh, yellow uh, orange reagents. So I'm missing a lot for this. <laughs> so it's okay. But I've got it to where I got it right now. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys one little trick that I recently learned. Maybe I can figure it out here. Oh, no. You know what? Where I can figure it out? I can figure it out right here. So if I click on the upgrade. No, 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 no. This one's, this one's too dang close. Uh, what, what was the one that I was just on? I was just on. Is it like the Mayflower? Yeah, I think it was the Mayflower. Okay, cool. So if you click on here and you're like, hey, man, I, I clicked on the. Uh, the game only says the game says that I need 120 of these shards, these blue shards or purple shards. And you're like, hey, man, I, I, what are all these extras doing here? These extras are available to you the moment you upgrade the relic. So as soon as you upgrade the relic, the blue ones, for example, to, to level four, all the way maxed out, it no longer needs those shards anymore. And then it releases them to you. Because there's no way this, these 540 in my inventory will, you know, wh why aren't they available to me? You would think, hey, it, it just, it, it just, it would, it would take enough for that, for that relic 
and keep it aside and give me the rest it doesn't do it that way so for example this one says it's got 500 540 shards of this exact spinning jenny uh artifact right i only need 10 but the thing is that i haven't maxed it out the moment i max this out and i hit those that 10 mark the rest of the 530 will be released for me to use for anything else i just recently found this out and if you want to for example uh if you want to reshape them when you reshape them it takes a lot it takes a lot of uh it takes 100 here and i don't have it but it's there you know what i mean so once you unleash those or once you release them by upgrading the the, the piece you'll have enough to do it there and then you're allowed to do the uh you're allowed to hook this up and actually this one's really good because if i if, if i if i reshape this one the effect that i'm going to get is it's going to put it's going to give plus five to all of my effects that's art fifth fit, uh fame fifth civ and tech so it's going to give just automatically five points to out the, the entire pentagram the mecha gene research b tab cost is going to be negative four percent that's also huge because it's hey i'm going to give you you know 40 bucks now i get like you know four you know what or if i give you 100 bucks i get four back you know what i mean like that's really good that's that's a, a, now i can use those four bucks and accumulate for something else um, the, then the relic uh, points is for something else, and the talent point is for something else. Let's look, let's look at what those are, what those actually do. So if we go in here to the trophy, those points go into here. Um, those talent points go in here, and then they can upgrade your uh, your 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 effects this way. So this this one actually is these, this one right here is tailored to the purple beads turning into orange by one percent. So now that one percent in that one relic and this one become two percent so now they start to stack you see how they start to grow that's really good maybe for example i maxed this one out just recently and look how much snail hp and rush i got so then the next one would be damage defense um and exploration damage plus one per one percent doing these things help you get stronger passively like really passively the score itself um the score itself is right here for the relic bonuses. So I my 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 score right now is almost uh, what is it? Is that nine million or nine hundred? So that's three. No, it's almost a million. Okay, so I need another fifty thousand, and and I'll just be able to collect these for free, and then it gets me another milestone of a million. So every time you um if, every time you reshape one of these relics, you get you get what is it plus ten thousand, and those ten thousand go over there, and then they give you free stuff. Um, and then another place where another another place where that affects you is right here. Uh, for example, uh, this is your relic point ranking, and right now it's saying that I'm 70th out of I guess maybe my server, which uh, my in my server right now this guy's got 1.3 million. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot considering I'm not even at a million yet. Um, but I'm 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 catching up because I kind of I'm kind of you know trying to haul ass and trying to put stuff in there not to try to catch up to that guy i can care less i just recently found that out that, that you can even do that but because it affects my effect effect being art uh fame fifth civ and tech right um there's gonna be other there's other gonna, there's gonna be other things also in this game that affect your hard stats and your hard stats is your um your hp your attack your rush and your defense hard yeah uh, and that's the acronym for hard so if you see anything uh, let's just say this relic said uh plus five to your hard stats that means that that relic gave you basically 25 points just flat right there because even though it says like five plus plus five to hard there's five there's uh or no five sorry four is there it gives you 20 sorry <laughs> They give you 20 points for the hard, which is the the HP, um, attack, rush, and defense. So it just boosts you passively by doing that. Now, if it was percent, it'd be even better. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys learned something. Um, this is where you find your your the the golden the golden uh, bosses inside the relics. Every relic has one of these bosses. If you click it here. Let's say this guy i wanted to fight this guy this guy's super strong so i'm not going to be able to beat him i don't even have his weakness his weakness is tech my tech is not high enough so i won't be able to hit him twice and even if i can hit him twice it doesn't guarantee me that i'm going to beat him it still could be way out of my uh, out of my depth because maybe my damage just isn't there um 
But if I wanted to just fight whoever I can, sometimes they go to the top and sometimes they'll be like, hey, you can fight this guy and let's see. We might be able to beat this person. Let's see how close we get. Because I found her weakness or his weakness. This says red boy. It looks like a girl to me. Whatever. So let's see how much damage we do. We see there's the weakness hits him twice. He is hitting me for a lot. He is hitting me for a lot, a lot. You drink a go. Drink a sip of coffee while this is happening. He is going to beat my ass. He's pushing forward. And even if this became a draw, he still wins. You either win or... Or you, there is no draw in this game. So if I get like a hard miss or a paralysis, we win. Hopefully I get, or more multiple crits. I need multiple crits. I need multiple. Oh, I got a paralysis. I got a paralysis. So I'm, I'm right now I'm in the lead. But he can catch up because he can do a lot of damage. If I can get maybe another drain. No, I might be beating him. Yeah, oh, there's my drain. And maybe a dodge. Oh, no, I just beat him. I beat him all right. Yes. I wasn't be I wasn't able to beat Red Boy yesterday. I actually gave him a shot yesterday. So there you go. I got to see you guys got to see me beat Red Boy, which is part of this uh, this uh, time travel boxes uh, backlog or whatever. The 500 years ago, I don't know the Civilization Mirage, right? So the Civilization Mirages. That's where you can fight these guys. And then I can go here, and and this is where I would normally put that point. I think it was uh, one of these points that I just got. And then they would go in here. And they would also increase my my abilities. So here is where it says like the snail fifth goes up plus 200. It says angel ritual requirements negative 2000. I'm not even sure what that means. Um, I don't know everything about this game because this game's just got way too much too much layered onto it. But for the most part, I do understand the the relics. Um, you see how these these are my five effects. Actually, right here it says hard stat. And these are my, my, my uh, what do you call it, my effects here. So my hard stat, again, HP, attack, rush, and defense stats, 7%. It's in percent. That's awesome. Percent is awesome because as you grow, the percentage can, follows with you. It's not a flat, uh, it's not a flat buff, which is really like, which is trash. <laughs> flat buffs are good, and but percentages are even better. Uh, let me see what I find in details. Uh, is there anything that gives me effect? At, I want to find the acronym effect so you guys can kind of just see it real quick. So you guys can kind of understand what I mean when I say effect. Um, what would I find effect? Okay, so this is a good this is a good example of my effect not being strong enough to fight Excalibra. Excalibra's effect is really high. It's asking me to have 118,000 effect. And right now my effect is only at 69k. This is my effect, this is my art, my fifth, my fame, my uh, civ, and my tech. So, these right here, I'm not going to be able to touch Excalibur anytime soon. He is just going to beat my ass. He's got 80,000 damage. That's already too, too damn strong. Um, I'll probably take like maybe two or three hits, maybe even four, and die. Um, his defense is too damn high. I think my, my, my damage is like 30k. Uh, what's my, my damage is 40k. So <laughs> I'm tickling him. He's like, what are you even doing here? <laughs> and my HP is at uh, 240. He was doing 80. My defense is so 60 of it, maybe 40 of it is getting through. So at like, you know, five or six hits and I'm dead. It doesn't, there's no point in me even fighting this guy. But that I, I was able to show you the effect portion of that. And that's how that works. So if you upgrade your relics. Your effect grows, and as your effect grows, you're able to challenge uh, certain enemies. You're all also able to. Uh, sometimes there's things laying on the ground, and and and, and you in your in your travels, and the snail says, "Oh, pick it up," or rummage, or fight. And if your effect meets that criteria, you can fight it. So, level up your relics. Re level up your relics. But again, I prioritize the economy first. I. I do, I do the economy. I do um, flat buffs, la flat buffs last if I can help it, um, and the stamps. Don't forget the stamps because the stamps actually give you percent like e economic boosts, like uh, fungus output thirty percent. Hell yeah, dude, that's that's insane. If it's, it's basically if 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 the if that that if this quarry, for example, is giving you a thousand rocks per day and you get plus thirty percent more. I mean that's you're, you're already ahead so far. 
you're basically getting what is it a thousand thirty or a thousand three hundred per day it's helping you accelerate the sooner you get pumping the sooner you get going it's just it's just gonna start stacking it's gonna start accumulating it's gonna propel you forward so i got a bunch of daily things to do now so i hope that i hope this video was informative that's that's, that's all i wanted to do i was just trying to help out uh, my fellow snails out there that are starting out that don't understand like the relic system i'll make another video about something else later uh possibly like the fungus eating the fungus and stuff like that or uh, uh weapon prioritization and stuff like that but um the relics very important so focus on those and have fun just have fun guys uh if you guys want leave me a comment a like and a subscription a subscribe uh that'd be great because i need the help i <laughs> i really want to keep doing these videos and i really enjoy this game more than anything else uh i play a lot of league of legends but this game is really fucking fun dude um if you guys get into this game i can teach you guys a lot i can help you guys accelerate get get there a little faster but just ask questions and i got your back all right see you guys on the next one